everybody, this is Mickey. She loves being snuggled. Say hi, Mickey. Hello, Hawkins. How are you? She's so snuggly. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, oh no, it's our last day. I am uh, so I'm so sorry to be saying goodbye to you all. I've really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it as much. Um, two songs in a month. I think that's pretty incredible. Um, considering we had to do a lot of back and forth and it wasn't just all a bunch of people sitting in a room hammering out ideas that had to go through the internets. Um, I, and I think it's, it was a, a really cool process and I think this is such a, an amazing uh, project that Meredith and Terry have set up. I think it's, it's really, really cool and I hope that you all um, continue with it. Uh, I know they've got some great things cooked up uh, for future cycles so uh, I hope you stick around and, and take part in the next in the next rounds. Anyway, to uh, wind up our song, we have to pick a title and crown the all-over winner of Hookest. Okay, I've got all the information here. The title that I thought I thought would work really well. Um, there were some uh, lots of good suggestions, um, but the one that just sort of stuck to me was uh, the one that uh, Walker Todd Davis suggested just calling the song Rise, um, you know, from the chorus. Um, equally good would have been um, Standing Tall or, or Dan Herman's Rise and Fall. But I thought Rise was just really simple and, uh, and evocative. So the title of this song is, is called Rise and that was chosen by Walker Todd Davis. Woohoo! It's not called Poo, Walker Todd Davis. We are not calling the song Poo. Uh, we are calling it Rise. And as far as the overall winner goes, this was a tough one because there, there was a just everyone really contributed. Um, everyone really pulled their own weight in this song. It was uh, it was a really uh, a really good group effort, I thought. Um, and so it was kind of hard to pin down anyone who I thought did the most work or the best work. Um, and there were a few uh, sort of close seconds and thirds uh, from the person who I actually did cho choose. So in the end I have uh, elected to choose uh, G.T. Edwards as the winner for his uh, his uh, chosen lyrics. Um, he uh, he got three lyrics in this song um, and so did Dan Herman who I also thought was did some really good work here. Um, Dan Herman really worked with um, churning the song along, which um, is, a, is a really important thing to do when you're writing songs. It's not all just about throwing out poetry and, and uh, you know, sometimes you just have to do the stuff that needs to be done. But he also did it in a very creative um, way, which is, is, a, is essential when you're writing songs. So good job to, to Dan. But ultimately, uh, G.T. Edwards, um, he has three lines in the song and all of them turned the song along and were really beautiful. Um, you know, he, she left her, her name carved in the tree then leapt towards her destiny. I thought that was really great. And uh, his, there was another line. Sometimes, you, sometimes to fly you gotta fall. That, that was kind of the clincher for me, um, his line. So um, G.T. Edwards, uh, we salute you. And uh, yeah, you can wear the uh, Miss Universe crown of focused. So um, goodbye, everyone. Um, I hope you like the song. Um, I do. I think it's great. And uh, I really enjoyed this process. So keep writing and uh, see you soon. Bye. One day she dreamt that she could fly. Soar like a bird and touch the sky Alas, held back by gravity So many laws to live by It pulls her down below the clouds Back down to earth amongst the crowds So she threw caution to the wind at the end of a fragile limb